This is a Greek show step that I used to do back in the day. Check it out. Eight five eight. The brother of eight five eight five. What's up? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. My name is Anthony Parker. If you are a first-time subscriber, thanks. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that you can get updates. And make sure to like, share, and comment. Just wanted to come in briefly while I was outside chilling and just talk about how fickle YouTube is. Have you ever thought about how fickle those, uh, if you are a, a, a new YouTuber, or maybe you have experienced this over the time. If you are a uh, person who's really taking this serious in terms of um, being a YouTuber, how um, I've noticed myself how the watch time and the views, go, they go up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, I've been doing this for almost five and a half years and I've seen my watch time go up, go down, never stagnated and that's why I've gotten to the point to where I'm not really gonna push too much on YouTube which is uh, which is what I've always concluded but I'm seeing it more so especially now that it has gone to uh, YouTube shorts and I was able to get a lot of views on my videos and stuff like that um, on certain days or every day actually I check my watch hours it's at a high number then a couple of days it's down it's down it's down as well as my views that's sort of discouraging uh, discouraging to to uh, me and I'm quite sure to others considering the fact that this is the only platform that that actually does that like Instagram you know you get your your uh, watch you get your likes and things of that nature you don't see any people at least I don't notice any individuals uh, unliking or unfollowing TikTok things of that nature you get a lot of uh, people um, you know following you things like that but as far as watch time with YouTube Man, unless you are a big time YouTuber, you probably don't notice this, but for small YouTubers who are basically trying to make it and trying to get um, uh, monetized, it is uh, uh, kind of like demoralizing because you do your best to try to come up with topics and put your videos out there and you get, you get actually, you get a few views on it. And um, there may be some that may get more views or more watch time than other videos and then all of a sudden, it drops a great deal so it's very very hard to actually to uh, be, become a, a youtuber and to really flourish in this particular uh, uh, business or on this particular platform so for me I'm to the point to where I'm not really gonna focus too much on this bad for real which I wasn't too much but you know after a while because I saw my, my channel growing over the past weeks and all of a sudden BAM you know the views have dropped tremendously the watch time has dropped tremendously and things of that nature. And this is just a good thing that I have other things going on in my life to where it doesn't bother me too, too much. I just wanted to come on here and talk about it for the sake of other individuals who may be experiencing this and who may have the uh, thought of actually becoming successful um, on the YouTube channel. So just be aware of, of this particular situation. Uh, you know, I know thumbnails are important and things of the nature, and I really can't focus too much on th thumbnails because of me being visually impaired. So I just have to focus on the titles and push out great content. But be aware of this actually happens for those small YouTubers. So just wanted to say something about it, how fickle you, YouTube is. Uh, I mean, it fluctuate, fluctuates a great deal. It never stagnates. You never uh, get more watch time hours over a period of time. It's always... Uh, declining so to me I say forget it what say you leave a uh, comment and let me know what you think about it have you been experiencing this my name is Anthony with Third Eye Visions and I'm out Ah! <laughs>